This part here brought forth his wallet, which he took a hundred rupee current currency. As soon as it came out, uh, I, people were talking about it and you know talking about how they could use it and things, and they used it almost almost day one. I think we're all like thinking it's it's cheating by using it but I think we're all kind of using it as as a thing in class and then oh look at this it's something new and it can give you all the answers you want in a matter of seconds. Now you've asked it, what does the old man sell? So what would you ask it now? Well, it hit the Danish news uh, cycle around the 1st of December last year, and it was two or three weeks later that uh, the first essay, which was uh, ChatGPT generated, arrived on my desk. Uh, actually, three of them. Uh, so very quickly after, the students picked it up immediately. So here we come up short. Yes. Okay, what do you think? This is where you think for yourself. Mine yes. says. Yeah. All right. So it's it's about asking the GPT to the right question. Express any intent to buy something specific. You can't make it say it, but, well, you, but you know. We know. You know the answer. You're better than the machine. We're better. We're okay. Stronger. What does he yes. think he buys? My experience was that the students would use it without any kind of thought. Um, and in that way it becomes an obstacle to learning, and learning is the whole project here. Um, but if we could change the way they use it so that it becomes a tool for learning, uh, then we would have won a lot, both in terms of uh, well, giving the students a new tool for learning, but also in terms of the relationship with the students, because if we can have the conversation with them about how to use AI, then uh, the whole idea that they can't talk to us about it because it's forbidden goes away. Um, and whether or not you like this and whether or not you think it's problematic, you have to realize that it is here. And if you drive it underground, then you stop all conversation about it. Encouraged by this, the other went on to explain at length uterine. The cake for Stohin and Spol, politeness and respect, both characters show politeness. And the old man responds. That's true. There's a lack of communication between them. Yes. Yeah. We can use detectors. Then um, the AI companies are going to improve uh, whatever um, programs they're using so that the programs can evade the detectors. We're going to have to develop new detectors. It's an arms race. It is also a misunderstanding to think that the primary goal of the school system is to detect students who cheat. The primary goal of the school system is to teach the students. The primary product here is the learning which the students experience. I think it's it's uh, it's a nice way of using it. Uh, it's giving you a couple of answers if you if you are in, in doubt of what the text is about and and such. You can use it to to get a more of an understanding of it. But I think it's it's a great use we use it for, and not just cheating. I think it's great. I mean, it's it's a tool almost like any other thing in the world. Like it's. It's almost like a search engine, but you can be more specific with it. And, you know, it can give you more straight answers than typing something into Google. Spying the clay statues in the walls of the war. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's also what he expressed interest in. Um, right now, you're asking it many times because you know which answer it is you want. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
some students have a home life with parents who have, say, an academic education, who can help them. They have a sparring partner. They have an extra study buddy. Some students don't. Um, if they have ChatGPT, for example, to make a list of the most important points in the text which they find difficult to understand and then go back and read the text and get a better understanding, then that's beneficial. Um, and the whole idea of sort of scrapping everything to do with uh, computers is, to my mind, unrealistic. We have taught our students, th all through primary school, to use computers. They are unable to write everything by hand because they simply have, don't have the training. Um, so it's a fiction. And we can forbid it, but we can't prevent it. Where we are now, it's so important to have open conversations with the students and the pupils and uh, to allow them to do things because many places, what is the actual fact of the moment is that it's, you can't speak about it because then you are sort of branded as a bad person, you know. And that's not, that's not helpful at all to, to developing healthy, curious, um, competent young people.